scratchies. Bedtime scratchies. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. The gate is like creaking. It feels like I'm in a horror movie. Oh my gosh. This is some real winds. This is me and welcome back to another video. So today's is going to be a little bit different because this evening we have a storm coming. Uh, it's called Storm Dudley. Uh, now I know in the UK we don't have hurricanes as bad as some of you guys might do in your countries but tonight it's going to be about 80-90 mile per hour winds and we live by the coast so we really feel the wind over here and also we live near a lot of trees or we live near lots of woods our local wood has actually been closed so the general public can't go there because they're worried about trees falling down we might lose power tonight so i thought i'd do a bit of a storm preparation routine take you guys with me how we look after the horses so first thing this morning i let them out while the weather wasn't too bad so they could have as much field time as possible because for me it's really important that my horses get to be a horse and get to live outside as much as they can but we are going to have to put them inside in the stables this evening for their safety but as we usually do in the evenings um, because it's really muddy out there and it just lets their legs settle a little bit from the mud but anyway so I'm going to be doing my whole sort of night routine evening routine but also with some storm preparation so the first thing that I need to do is muck out some stables and get them ready for tonight. This is a shakedown Order up that beat just like a takeout Show me you got soul inside those new shoes And you can rock and roll with the attitude Welcome to Duke Stable. It looks a little bit different to the other horses because he's smaller, he doesn't have as much shavings. He kind of has it all in one corner because he's so small. Um, I'd rather make the bed kind of smaller but thicker so he can lie, like he, he always curls up in the same little corner. It's really cute. I've seen him a few times asleep when I've done night checks, which has been absolutely adorable. But he is quite messy with his haylage. It's a bit everywhere. But he is quite well potty trained, even though, you know, he's never been kind of used to being in a stable. He does like to poo not on the shavings so that does help well done Duke Le learning good good habits from a young age but anyway Duke stable usually doesn't take me as long to clean because obviously he's smaller but now it's time to muck out that you're the new MC you got the remix keep it all repeat just let the beat kick everywhere you go you bring a roof your own sound so good so fresh just the way you like it goes to show that one of the advantages of having a small horse or pony is that there's less to muck out. The only thing is, is that uh, Duke's got into like a habit where he likes to wee on his haylage, like the bit that falls on the ground, not on the net, obviously. But um, it doesn't mean that I had to pick all that up. So it does did mean that um, his actual shavings wasn't as wet, so I barely had to remove any. There's a bit underneath. It always looks, it looks beautifully clean on top. And then you lift it up and you're like, oh, there's, there's a bit I need to take out here. But no, that didn't take me too long. Now onto the other horses, but um, yeah, I think it's Joey next, and he's the biggest, and he's usually he's usually quite messy. So This is a shakedown. 
I've now finished mucking out the stables. They all have lovely fresh shavings and water. The next thing I need to do is their haylage and we've been really lucky that today we actually delivery from Silvermore. So I need to get in the quad. I need to move it up to the storage room and then make lots of haylage nets. that I'm in here now because the wind is really starting to pick up. We've just checked the weather app, it's about 40 mile an hour winds. Obviously it's gonna be peak in about four hours, I think. So that'll be around 80. Luckily the stables, that sort of weather, they'll be all fine. Um, but yeah, I was really having to squint while I was driving the quad because the wind and the rain was going in my eyes. Uh, but yeah, now I need to make the haylage net. So we actually have a cool little measuring thing here to make sure that we give them the right amount. And also because my boys, they eat everything so quickly. Uh, they love their food. Uh, we have these hay nets that have tiny little holes. So it does take them a long time to eat. So I'm gonna fill them up now. And then I'll be back with you guys once that's done. <laughs> really starting to pick up now so before things start blowing away although something has actually happened I actually left my tack room door like not bolted and the door swung open and my reflective jackets that I hang on the back were just blowing around everywhere it was like oh my goodness anyway the next thing that I need to do is uh, move these jump stands because I know the amount of times that it's been when we've had like a storm where it's been really windy and they've just blown away because they stand up also the wind kind of goes through the poles it makes this really eerie sound but anyway I'm going to pop these all down so hopefully they're less likely to blow away so uh, this might take a little while and just pop them down You have got a spring in your step, mister, haven't you? Yeah. Are you giving him the side eye? Yes. Well, that was a bit hairy. Uh, not gonna lie, there are a few moments where I was like, oh my goodness, Joey, please do not explode. Especially if Mickey and Duke got excited. They were running around. Casper was running around at the bottom because I was taking Joey away. If not, I would have taken them both off at the same time, but I could barely walk myself in the wind, in the mud, and leading a horse. I thought, I'll do it one at a time. It'll be safer. They're up. It's time to get Mickey and Duke in, and hopefully that'll be a little bit less hairy. Are you going to be still for me putting my head collar on? Are you going to move around? Yeah, you're going to move around. Sometimes Mickey gets so excited. He can barely put his head collar on because he's just moving his head about. Okay, come on around round. Oh my goodness, you have mud all up your neck. <laughs> okay, round we come. Round we come. Come on there, little mud monster. How have you got mud on your face? I guess your face is a little bit close to the ground. You're muddy. All right, do you want to go and say hi to Joey? Joey, look who we have. Duke always likes to see Joey. I don't know if that's because Joey makes such a mess with his haylage. I think Joey's too 
Joey's too bo like busy eating. Oh, there we go. Do you want to say hi? Oh, <laughs> there we go. BFFs, little and large. Yeah, are you friends? Mm -hmm. Duke is so cheeky. He will literally, if Joey has haylage in his mouth, Duke will like pull it out of Joey's mouth. Joey just doesn't care. He just wants to make friends. Yeah, okay. Should we pop you in there, little one? No, you can't lick his butt. <laughs> All of the horses seem to be on pretty high alert at the moment. The wind is really starting to pick up and it's probably in the next next few hours it's going to be at the peak so um, they all seem not too bad in their stables now they're in here because the wind is coming from the other direction so at least it's not blowing into their stables hey but they are making a few creaking sounds but they're all eating and if horses are eating they generally feel pretty relaxed so um what's Mickey up to hi Michael Mickey Mickey what are you doing are you having some snacks Mickey is very chilled. I feel like the only reason Mickey got excited wasn't because of the wind. He does it every single time. You think he'd grow out of this at, what, 22? Is he now? <laughs> um, yeah, he gets excited every time it's dinner time and he's going in a stable. Oh no, he's doing well. Duke's doing well in the stable. I've just had some cuddles with him in there, which he enjoyed. But yeah, now we can't forget about the donkeys. So we're gonna do the donkeys next. You need to grab some haylage nets, give them a little check up and see if they're doing all right. I'm coming, I'm coming, Willie! Hey, Willow! All the equines are now in with some haylage. They're all very settled and happy because the peak of the storm is coming soon. So I'm going to go inside myself, have a cup of tea, warm up, have my dinner, and then I'll be back with you guys when it's time to do night checks. Hopefully we still have power then because you never know when whenever we have like really bad winds like this because we have so many trees around us there's always like a tree that goes down or sometimes internet cable telephone wire goodness knows what but anyway i'm i'm pretty pooped now i'm pretty tired from doing all that so i'll see you guys in a bit i'm now getting ready for night checks what's actually really funny is because i thought i'd put my you know waterproof trousers on and i put my hand in the pocket obviously put these in the wash when when I had a treat in, because there's this like smoosh of treats <laughs> all compressed together. So I don't think, I don't think the horses will be getting those, but it's time to brave the outdoors. Put my muddy boots on. I feel like I'm, I'm going, well, I am going into a storm. I was gonna say I feel like I'm going into the storm, but I literally am. These are absolutely filthy, oh my goodness. I don't know if you can hear me or see me. I've got hair in my mouth. Um, this is really testing our mics to see, you know, if if they're working well. Actually, I feel like the wind's just suddenly stopped as I've started talking. But anyway, we're going through the gate now to go to the horses to do their night checks. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my, I feel like I'm in a whirlwind. Oh my gosh, I'm literally <laughs> So you guys can see me. I have my phone like this, but I cannot see where I'm going. So I'm going to have to go now. So I can, I'm not going to trip over anything. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is some real wind. Hi, Joey. I'm sorry about the light. You do blinky blinky. Blinky blinky. Oh, Joey. I always feel so bad when I do this at night checks, but look. <laughs> He just blinks so much. It's so adorable. But I feel awful at the same time. Anyway, um, oh, I'll probably check up on Duke in a sec because obviously they can all fit their head over. Duke can fit his head over. Oh, there we go. I can just about see it in the corner. Oh, it's gone down now. Anyway, it's time to give them their haylage. It's always funny, depending on how long I leave them, sometimes they will have gone and lied down and have absolute shavings forelocks and shavings manes but they all seem pretty chilled it's actually i didn't realize how thank you joey i didn't realize how sheltered it was around here yes it's very sheltered but yeah as soon as i go around that what well this is spooky i think we've just had a power cut 
I could not make this up. One, that's Duke's. Two, three, one more. Oh, I really shouldn't have left that gate open. It's moving and grooving. Oh, did I just turn my light off? Oh, I know, Joey, it's coming. The amount of hair I have in my mouth. I really should have tied my hair back. But I had a nice, I had a nice shower to warm up, you know. Oh. Well, that's that's useful. The the power's obviously come back. Um, who's next? Caspi. Oh, Mickey. I'm sorry. You're you're after Caspi. I know. I know. Ugh. My 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 mouth is just ninety percent hair right now. There we go. There we go. You can see what I'm doing. There we go, cute boy. Enjoy your halage. You have a lovely poop stain on you. Mm-hmm. Yes, are you excited? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Okay, back back. What are you looking at? What are you looking at, little muddy boy? You look like an absolute scruffy scruffster. Oh, it's okay, I'm just doing, just tying up your net. Would you like a scratchies? Would you like a scratchies? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, thank you for the kiss. Yes, scratchies. Bedtime scratchies. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Ooh, is that the good spot? I think I got the good spot, guys. All right, everyone, the horses have got their haylage, their water. I've checked the donkeys as well. They're doing, they're doing good. Uh, the amount, I really should have tied my hair back. The amount of times I've got hair in my mouth today from the wind. Oh, Gatsby, did you, did you spot something? Did something spook you? Yes. Um, it's not too bad around here. It's nice and sheltered. So I regret walking back to the house because that is going to be very windy, very blustery. But yeah, I will see you guys in the morning and hopefully we don't have too much damage from the storm. Okay, should I turn your light off? Yes. Bye bye, Caspi. Have a good night's sleep. Yeah. Out of all of them, I think Casper's probably the one that does the, does the worst in storms. He's like the most nervy and anxious out of all of them. Oh, you having a scratch? You having a scratch? All of the horses have had a bit of scratch this evening. Oh, just scratchy scratchies. Yes, okay. See you, Caspi. Good night. It's windy. I wish I could film the trees right now because they are going wild. Oh my gosh. The gate is like creaking. It feels like I'm in a horror movie. Okay, almost at the house now. It's all good. Oh, I don't like this. Is this is giving me the creeps? Okay. Oh, oh my god! The amount of force I'm having to use to open this gate. Oh my gosh. Okay. Home time. Back to the house. now the next day and I have some good news and I have some bad news. I thought I'd do a little bit of a situation report of what happened last night. So the good news is, is that it wasn't too bad. Nothing major happened apart from our power just cutting in and out, which happens every now and again because we are like at the end of the line in the middle of nowhere. Um, but also <laughs> not that major. Our garden uh, furniture went for a little wander. Some of it's tipped over, but apart from that, nothing too major happened the bad news is is that we have another storm that's happening tomorrow and it's going to be even worse so this is going to be up to like 100 mile per hour winds this is a big weather warning people to sort of stay at home not travel because i think there was a few like 
accidents on the roads and things around us. Um, so yeah, that's, that's gonna be interesting. So what I've done today, is I've taken both Casper and Joey at the least windy part of the day. It's starting to pick up again now um, for a hack, get some energy out of them because the worst wind is going to be during the day tomorrow. So I think I really, I really don't want to have to do this, but I think it's going to have to be the safest to keep all of the equines in tomorrow because it's going to be so windy. And with the fields being so muddy like this, if they end up running around and all that kind of stuff, it's not going to be good. So um, I'll be back with you tomorrow when hopefully the storm won't be too bad, but it's all on the news and everything. So it's not, it's not looking too good. Those are the sorts of winds that will cause big problems. The warnings are danger to life. Issued by the Met Office, London to South East and towards the South West, we've also got numerous flood warnings, including some... Uh, signs, power lines, trees, things like that. Uh, there is a risk of them being blown off uh, and injuring people. This is also one of the areas. The are bracing themselves for uh, more disruption ahead. Chance of getting some power cuts as well. It's now the next day and it's about three hours until it's the peak of the storm or until the storm kind of starts. And we're expected up to 100 miles per hour wind and we've now been given a red warning so that means that there might be danger to life. Um, I'm really worried about the horses, hopefully that everything's okay. Obviously there's going to be lots of farmers around us and other horse owners and animal owners that are going to be in the exact same position. So the plan for today is to try and look after them the best I can. So muck them out while they're still in probably and make sure they have enough water, food, that they're happy and they're settled. We'll probably give them some like treats and things to keep them occupied. But yeah, I, I won't be surprised if we're out of power for a day, two days, I don't know. I've got my video, because it's a Friday today, all ready and scheduled just in case. So even if people, you know, even if I don't have power, people can still watch my videos. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try my best and we'll just see how it goes each hour. Doing the bongos. situation report while Duke and Joey they were actually sharing haylage Duke was like eating it like a bit of spaghetti a bit like in the like Disney film with the dogs the latest thing is the lady in the tramp anyway yes you are too cute um, I've just let him free range around the yard because it's actually not too bad around here because he's not used to being in a stable and I thought it would really stress him out if he's in there for too long yes um, but We've still got another few hours until, you know, the storm's supposed to get really bad. And it's fine in the courtyard kind of yard area here. But if I go behind the stables, oh my goodness, I almost got blown away. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is go and put the donkeys in because if Bruno and Toby don't let Willow in the stable and she's out there in the wind, then if she gets blown over, she will not be able to get back up again with her lameness and the um, her dodgy back legs. No. You are a little troublemaker, aren't you? You just want kisses. He just wants attention. Yes. I think he's a little bored. So we're keeping you, keeping you occupied. He was playing around with the bucket. So it was like he was playing the drums, giving us some entertainment in the storm. Yes. Oh my gosh. A little wiggle snoo. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Duke, you are such a time waster. You're too cute.
the wind's really starting to pick up now i've just had a shower in case our power does go out so i don't really want to have a cold shower um but i'm going to check on duke i might have to put him in now because it is getting really bad and i'm not surprised if the power goes out anytime soon you know it's not good hello It's now the day after the storm and I am so relieved that all of the horses are okay. They're currently out in the field, which they were so happy to, to be this morning when I let them out. But yeah, it, it hasn't been great in the last 24 hours. I am so, so thankful that the horses and the stables are okay because our neighbor, a few doors down, they have stables and the whole roof has just come off. Luckily, they were only using it for storage. They don't have horses there anymore, but you can imagine how awful that would have been if that was our stables and our horses were inside. Um, we've also lost the um, greenhouse door and our neighbor next door, her shed roof is completely blown away as well. So um, I think the top speed of wind was around 122 miles per hour and that wasn't recorded too far away from us. So yeah, it's been a little bit scary. Luckily, we don't really have too much damage and all, the, all of my family and the horses and the animals are all fine. What's also really interesting is that our sort of glass windows on our house that face south, they have salt water all over them and like we're near the coast but we're a good couple of miles away so it goes to show how far the seawater in the wind has traveled but yeah I, I really hope all of you guys are staying safe and your animals and your family are all okay I know in the UK a lot of people are still without without power like hundreds of thousands of homes and there were a few deaths so I really hope everyone's okay and staying safe and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video I hope you I was gonna say enjoyed it but it's been a little bit scary <laughs> so um, yeah I hope you can see you know the effort I've gone into of what I've done to try and keep my horse as safe as possible because we don't usually have weather like this over here in the UK but yeah thanks for watching bye